Bronco, a big part of it. Yeah, he gets a lot of calls, but he doesn't deserve it. Ash there. runs at Prito, takes him outside. That's and a point to the spot. So Stewart Holden figures to get the PK opportunity. 82nd minute turning over to 83. And the Dynamo with a chance to reclaim the lead. Corey Ash's speed creates. Somehow Holden got it pushed forward, and Ching is the guy who gets it out to Ash. And this is what we were asking for him to do more of tonight. Go with people. Get into the box. Good things can happen. That would be a rather soft penalty. I, I tell you, that look, there was a bit of hesitation. But listen, you don't get those calls unless you get into the box and run at people. That's what Ash did. Holden against Bush, perhaps for the game. 83rd minute. Vaughn whistles in. Stu shoots and scores! Holden's sixth goal of the season. 83rd minute, Dynamo three, fire two. Penalty. There's no doubt about it. He hits it with power. There's a good look from behind John Bush. This is 12 yards away. This is power, man. That thing just flies in there. And there's the bobblehead celebration. <laughs> hey. These are big Final points. Final score here tonight at Robertson Stadium, Houston Dynamo 3. Chicago Fire 2. Charlie Palillo along with Glenn Davis upstairs heading down to the field with the Game-winning goal scorer just before heading off to Team USA tomorrow. Stuart Holden joins us. Stu, I know giving up a 2-0 lead wasn't part of the plan, but it made for good TV, good drama, and certainly in the end, a good outcome for the Dynamo. Yeah, um, you know, it, it's a little worrying because that's uh, two home games in a row where we've given up goals uh, right after halftime and let teams get back in the game. So, you know, obviously we're not proud of that, but, you know, the guys fought away and we had a number of chances to to get the lead back and you know fortunately enough Corey made a good run and got the penalty kick and uh, you know I tucked it away. Stuart how much of it now is is really about trying to wrap your arms around three points and and grit and determination you know in, in July and August in Major League Soccer? Yeah uh, it's a tough stretch for us that you know the July uh, we we're on the road the whole month and uh, you know now to have a couple home games and uh, you know in the heat and and uh, you know game after game it's really important to pick up points wherever we can and yeah, that's been one thing with this team. We've always had that winning mentality and always known how to ground out, grind out some wins. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy with the way the guys responded tonight, going, uh, giving up the two goals and then coming back and getting the victory. The lapses in concentration at times, and, and to be fair, Chicago had them as well, and you guys pounded them for it. Um, is that just part and parcel with the time of the year and the weather and all these other challenges you guys face from guys going off the national team to injury? Yeah, I don't know if you can uh, if we can really point it to one thing. I think it's a number of things. Um, you know, uh, I think just overall we need to be a little bit sharper for 90 minutes. Uh, at this level, you get punished against good teams. Chicago are a good team. You have to give them credit. You know, they're very dynamic off the ball. They move it well. So, you know, we got punished for a couple of our mistakes tonight. And, you know, they, they weren't easy goals. You know, they're good finishes by their guys. But uh, so take nothing away from them. But I think, uh, you know, once again, that's not what this team is about. We're about, you know, being solid defensively and, and taking our chances. So, you know, we, we got to work on that and, uh, you know, look forward to next week against Salt Lake. Last thing, Stuart, little game in the meantime. A thought on what you have ahead these next three days going off with Brian and Ricardo tomorrow. Yeah, I'm excited. You know, I had a, a good run in the Gold Cup and, and you know, want to continue that now. I've been given the chance in the World Cup qualifier. So, you know, whether, whether I play or whether I'm a part of the team, uh, you know, I just want to get in there and, and keep performing well with the Dynamo. And, you know, if I get a chance on Wednesday, I'm going to be ready. and you know, hoping to help the U.S. get their first victory in Azteca. Safe travels and good luck with it. Thanks, guys. Stuart Holden from the field, game winner via PK tonight. Dynamo 3, Fire 2. Thanks to our Fox Sports Houston viewers. Coming back with our post game on KHOU 11.2.